Hey, Council Rock, are you ready to make an under the sea painting? Well, if you are, stay tuned for some step by step instruction. Woo! The first thing I did was get set up with paint, a palette, a paintbrush, and a water cup. The next thing you want to do is print out a picture that you find interesting and that you think you would want to recreate onto your canvas. Since the jellyfish is more of an organic shape, I decided just to lay down with blue paint a light layer where I thought the jellyfish should go. Once I was satisfied with that, I went around the outside of it, covering it with black acrylic paint. The next thing I did was cover the body of the jellyfish with some green paint, some yellow paint, and then I slowly started to add where I thought the tentacles would be in accordance with the picture. Now as I was working, I was feeling slightly uninspired, so I decided to switch it up, print out a new picture, and start over. When you have your own work that you're working on, you have complete artistic license to do this if you feel like you need a change, and that's exactly what I did. So I printed out a new jellyfish, and I started over again. After I finished the body of the jellyfish, I started working on the tentacles. I found that the yellow, green, and white paint is the most reflective, especially when added in a thick layer. I decided to fill in some of the background space with coral to look like an under the sea image. I referenced the photo and I used pink and orange paint because I hadn't used it before. I also decided to add some little designs, dots, and stripes onto the body of my jellyfish just to give it some extra dimension. The last thing I did was channel my inner Jackson Pollock and filled any negative space with some paint splattered directly into the background of my canvas. Here's my final piece. Thanks for watching everybody!